the Defence and Security Services come before you once again to pronounce the end of Operation Restore Legacy. Operation Restore Legacy was launched on the 13th of November 2017 and its main objective was to remove criminals that had surrounded the former president, resulting in anxiety and despondence amongst our people. While some of the individuals have been accounted for, others kept the country. This notwithstanding, the objectives of the operation have, to a large extent, been achieved. Besides the above-mentioned objective, Operation Restore Legacy has had wider implications on the political, economic, and social activities of our people. In this regard, a new political dispensation has been ushered in to take Zimbabwe into its rightful place within the SADC and the world at large. The nation will recall that before the statement that was issued by the commander of Zimbabwe Defense Forces, General Constantino Guvea Dominic Nikazino Chuenga, on the 13th of November, many political, economic, and security events had taken place, all of which had the effect of causing anxiety and despondence among the generality of our people as well as destabilizing the defense and security services of our country. The general statement was followed by a series of political events, the highlights of which were the resignation of the former president, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mugabe, from the seat of power, followed by the inauguration of His Excellency President Emerson Dambuzom Nangagwa, as the second executive president and commander-in-chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces since the country's independence in 1980. Since then, the appointment of a new cabinet on the 30th of November and the holding of an extraordinary congress of the ruling ZANU-PF party and many other events are now history which we have all been witnesses to. As a result of these political developments, normalcy has now returned to our country. It is for this reason that as your defense and security services, we announce the end of Operation Restore Legacy today, the 18th of December, 2017. We want to take this opportunity to thank all Zimbabweans for their support, patience, and understanding during the five weeks of Operation Restore Legacy. We also want to thank and extend our hearty appreciation for the nationwide prayers that were conducted by churches and their congregations throughout our country. We also want to thank our traditional leaders for their guidance and our legislators for their immense support. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank the members of the various security services who participated in the operation for their diligence, courteousness when dealing with the public, and commitment to duty. We also want to make special mention of the veterans of our liberation struggle and also former detainees and war collaborators for their mobilization efforts, which resulted in the massive turnout by all Zimbabweans for the Solidarity March on the 19th of November 2017. This day was historic and will be remembered by generations to come. As Operation Restore Legacy comes to an end, it is our hope as your defense and security services that our people will remain united, they will shun corruption, they will be law-abiding, and focus on working hard for the development of our country. In this regard, 
we are all reminded by what the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces said in his inaugural speech at the National Sports Stadium on the 24th of November 2017. And I quote, open quote, as we focus on recovering our economy, we must shed misbehaviors and acts of indiscipline which have characterized the past. Acts of corruption must stop forthwith. Where these occur, swift justice must be served to show each and all that crime and other acts of economic sabotage can only guarantee ruin to the perpetrators." Unquote. Furthermore, your defense and security services would like to remind all Zimbabweans to remain vigilant and to report any suspicious individuals and objects to law enforcement agents. This is because some of the members of the G40 cabal that had surrounded the former head of state are now bad-mouthing the country from foreign lands where their intentions to harm the peace and tranquility that exist in our country have been pronounced. It is therefore the duty of every Zimbabwean to ensure that these malcontents and saboteurs and others of like mind are not allowed to succeed. Today, as the Defense Forces hand over all normal day-to-day -day policing duties to the Zimbabwe Republic Police, we urge all our citizens to allow for a smooth transition. Members of the public are urged to respect, support, and cooperate with the police as they execute their constitutional mandate. On the other hand, we urge the police to take over their full responsibilities and perform their duties according to their constitutional mandate and client service charter. As I conclude this statement, which I make on behalf of all the defense and security services of our country, I want to once again thank all our citizens and salute them for their resilience, which has gotten us to where we are today as a nation, despite the many challenges that we have faced. It is our belief that with clearer and better coordinated plans for the resuscitation of our economy, coupled with the existence of peace and political stability, our combined efforts to turn around our economy will pay dividends in the very near future. Further, as we prepare for the elections in 2018, it is our wish that the campaigning and the voting itself on the day takes place in an environment of peace and tranquility. And here again, I want to quote the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, where he said in his closing remarks to the ZANU-PF Extraordinary Congress on the 15th of December 2017, and I quote, open quote, I would also urge our members to remain peaceful before and after elections. We do not condone any acts of violence." Unquote. Let us all work for a peaceful and prosperous Zimbabwe. Thank you, Zimbabwe, and I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I thank you.